<laughs> so cute. <laughs> Does it look stupid? Okay, I'll do it later. So I just got this new wig today. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This time I am unboxing my very first package from Bodyline, which if you are a Lolita or other Japanese fashion enthusiast, you know what Bodyline is. For those of you that don't know what Bodyline is, I know I can English really well. For those of you! It is an online store that specializes in Lolita. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going like this and I was, I was thinking Indian. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know what Bodyline is, it is an online store and in-person store that specializes in Japanese fashion such as Lolita, Visual K, uh, cosplay, and that kind of stuff. And it is widely known for its uh, lower prices, but also slightly lower quality clothes, but at the same time, they're still pretty darn good. And a lot of Lolitas start off with Bodyline just because of how cheap the prices are. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Yan is the guy who runs it, thanks to Musta for reminding me. I bought two skirts this time around. Well, I guess I should say this time because it's my first time buying from them. And they are both pastel colors. One is, I believe, carousels and one's bunnies. Um, one is in sacks and one is in lavender. So let's see, shall we? I'm so excited, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, I don't want to show my address, but. This is what it came in. Um, I've seen most Lolitas open theirs from boxes. Mine came in a bag. Uh, that doesn't really bug me because it's just skirts and you can't break skirts. I mean, you can fold skirts, but you can iron skirts, so not too bothered by that. Oh, I got a body line bag. That's really pretty. So, oh, two. So each of them is individually wrapped in a bag that looks like this and it has the name of the store on the front and you can see a little bit of the uh, print peeking through and then um, in the corner right here it tells you the name of the dress, skirt, whatever in the color you got and the size plus the price so this first one here is L145 in the color sax in the size 2 or T2L which is one of their largest sizes because boobs <laughs> No, it's a skirt. Um, oh, right. Ah. And even though I only have a 36 inch waist, most Lolita stuff is designed for people that are a lot smaller than that. So... Oh, I got a head bow! Okay, I did not pay for a head bow, so I'll take that. So, this is the skirt. It is very wrinkly, so it will need a little bit of an iron. But it is my carousel one, which is my favorite print Hold it down. I was Sorry. looking on the website. It smells really gross. So this is what the print looks like. It is a bunch of beautiful pastel pony carousel things with stars. And the lace is a combination of pink ribbon and white lacing. And it's roses, I think. Um, and then the pink lacing kind of looks like hearts, but it's not. And then there's daisies next to it. There is no interfacing on the inside of the skirt. It is just the front fabric, so it is going to be a little see-through. However, with petticoats, not a problem. Um, it has a side zipper here. It doesn't want to unzip. Uh, it doesn't even go halfway. It's quite a small zipper, but good enough for me. Uh, it has a clasp and a button, which is cool, but the button doesn't have a hole. <laughs> so, I don't know if that was a manufacturing error or not, uh, could just be for design, I don't know, and then I can do the annoying hanger things, and then the lovely tag, which is sparkly and pink and wonderful. So, this skirt cost, um... Maybe it doesn't say the price. Does it say it on here? Um, it 
it doesn't specify which one is which. However, one of the skirts was 15.99 yen and the other one was 27.99 yen, which I believe translates to like 25 and 40 or something like that. I think it might be a little yeah. Uh, I will put the exact numbers up somewhere. Um, but it comes with what looks like waist ties. Oh no, there's I think there's what? What the heck is this? There's a buttonhole. Oh, is that what the button's for? Oh, is it like little like I think um they're kinda like waist ties. Is it like suspenders kinda? Like you no, tie them they're one sided. Them? I think they're waist ties that you can choose to put on or off. Um which if there wasn't a bow, which Hello. Uh, I don't know where I left off, so if I'm repeating myself, I will just edit this part out. But uh, I think last time I was showing these, and I still have not figured out what these are. Um, I think that they're waist ties that you attach to the mystery button, but I don't know. They're not suspenders, otherwise they would have another button down here, and that detailing wouldn't be there. Which, by the way, is very beautiful. It's a lovely little pink bow with the same lacing that the... Uh, Skirt has minus the flowers on this part, and there's two of them, and they are like, I don't know, three feet long maybe? And then, last but not least, there is a head bow uh, slash skirt bow. It only has the pin on it right now, but I will be attaching <laughs> something to clip on my head because I am obsessed with head bows. And again, it has the same lacing minus the roses, which are actually here, so that's a really cool way to deal with lace, um, to recycle it. And then they have these stitched on here as well, which are very cute. And only the star pattern on this one, just the, or they only have the star pattern on these, they don't have the carousel. <laughs> I'm so excited for this one, because bunnies are like my favorite. I think it's Animals. No, I think it might be, I don't know, it's either bunnies or teddy bears. Oh, I was about to say, teddy bears are like my favorite print. They're bunnies. Oh wait, that would go really well with my hair. Yeah, I'm wearing that one. And there is Can I see the bow? this one, which is... Was it lower? Lower. Oh, I'm trying to show the bottom. The bunnies are dressed in both a combination of boy and girl style, and each bunny's dress is different. The boys are in like an aristocrat, kingly style, and the girls are in like a very beautiful Marie Antoinette style gown. Um, this one again has the things with no mystery button, so maybe that's what the mystery button is for. It has a zipper that goes um, a little bit of a ways down again, and the top of the print is candles and then Cinderella's pumpkin carousel looking thing. It really does look like a pumpkin. I don't know if that's what this is supposed to be, like a take on Cinderella or something. So I just found this string. Hopefully things aren't going to fall apart, but so far that's the, the only loose thread I've found. Again, there is no interfacing on this skirt. It is just this part right here. And the lace is a like cream yellow lace color, which I don't really like, but it matches the off-white checkerboard color there. So it matches, which is good. And it's... Um, Again, some sort of scalloped rose lace detailing. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be exactly, but it's very pretty. Uh, has these stupid hanger things, which I just hate. Um, the tag, and then this one actually has the tag like this, whereas the last one had the tag here. So this one, which you probably have already figured out by now, is the higher quality skirt and costs me more. Oh, there's another little string. This one cost about 45 and the other one was 25-ish. So this one, which is kind of weird because this one came with two extras, whereas this one just has this. Um, and on the front, there's just pearls and uh, a candelabra. But on the back, you see a little bit of the bottom skirt of the print where the stripes and the bunnies are, which is cool. Um, and again, it only has the pin. But I will add a uh, thing to put on my face. Or my head, not my face. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay, so that is it for my bodyline unboxing. I am 100% satisfied. 
Um, even though there are a little threads here and there poking out, they mostly seem to be loose threads, which hopefully won't be a problem, um, but they're gorgeous. The only complaints I have is that they are very wrinkly, so they will need to be ironed, um, and I will have to be careful about that because they're, um, I mean, I think they're ironable. I'll or you could get, see. like, you could spray them with water and then hang them up. And you can also put, yeah, they're, they're I think they're ironing. Warm iron using press cloth. So yeah, you, you can put wax paper down and iron them out. Um, and what else? Uh, this skirt on the website is also a slightly different color. It's more pink and it's also shiny. Um, whereas in person, it's the same material as this, like a cotton polyester blend, I think is what it is. Um, so the picture is a little deceiving, but for the most part, they look like what I paid for, they are worth what I paid for, and I'm really happy with them. Like, So yes, I think that's everything. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me freak out over hair cloth. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I will have shots of me wearing them at the end of this video if I have time, and if I do not, I will put pictures in the description. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video. 